people. People. So make sure, folks, if you have a little one that can't see, they are more than welcome to sit on your lap. Just make sure they don't stand up. Please do not let them, um, do not hold them up in the air or stand them up on your legs. They got to be in a seated position for me. Now above your head is a small sampling of some of the animals we hope to see while we're out there. So feel free to use that at any time as a reference. But don't worry, that's why I'm here as your expert safari guide. Tell you all about these wonderful creatures. Now how many first timers do we have on safari? Awesome! Well welcome folks and welcome back to everyone that's been with us before because here we go! Oh. So here we are folks in the little and Tory forest. That right there is an okapi. Now, just looking at the animal, who do you think it's related to? Gerald, Gerald. <laughs> Someone's been on safari before. It is related to the giraffe. <laughs> now, they're very shy animals. So shy, in fact, they weren't even discovered to the Western world until 1901. No. Now, this is the watering hole. Very important gathering place in the forest and a great place to see some black rhinos. Black rhinos. Now, black rhinos can weigh anywhere between 3,000 and 5,000. 5,000 pounds and they have a height that's one inch thick. Makes them pretty tough. So tough, in fact, they only have one known predator, and that's man. Due to poaching, there are less than 5,000 that left in the world. Now you gotta look carefully. Look all the way to the left. Do you see that kind of big rock? Oh, yeah. That's the backside of a rhino. See his tail move back. These are flamingos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look up to your right hand side. And there are some bongos. I know I'm not talking about the drum. Now, bongos are known as ghosts of the forest. They're very shy and reclusive, so we're pretty lucky to get to see them. Oh, looks like there's some bird life coming up here on our left. Those are saddle-built storks right there. Tallest stork in Africa, standing about five feet tall. That's an adrenaline, DJ Lake. They also have a wingspan of eight to nine feet. Which is a great place to see some Nile hippos. Hippos. Hippos are the third largest mammal, weighing in about 5,000 pounds. In order to keep that large body nice and cool, they tend to stay completely submerged underwater. Which is not a problem for them because they can hold their breath for about five to eight minutes at a time. Now there is one swimming along that way. If you can't, folks, ladies and gentlemen, everyone's got to stay seated. If you can't see, don't worry. We're heading over to their favorite hangout spot just across the river. Oh. Yeah. Inside. Now they'll come out at night to do the majority of their eating, about 150 pounds worth of food each. There they are. I'm actually I'm not quite sure. Um, it's mammals, so I might, I'm going to be surprised if it's elephant. Yeah. They hold their breath that long in the water. Rhinos are about the same height, same weight, so they're probably in the same category. Now we pass over lots of rough and rugged terrain on safari folks, including rickety old bridges. But don't worry, it's not the bridge that has me concerned. It's what lives underneath. Ladies and gentlemen, be careful, beware the Nile crocodiles. Whoa. 18 to 20 feet long can weigh up to a thousand pounds. Now, if they have their mouth open, they're regulating their body temperature. But you don't want to be around when they close it. They can use up to 1,200 pounds of pressure. Easily crushing anything in its way. Yeah. 
Tree. Look at so the root. Go Look the nine tree, nine months without any leaves. Some of them baobabs are thought to be over a thousand years old. Now this right here is my favorite view of the entire reserve. The Serengeti grassland stretch for hundreds of miles across East Africa. It's a super highway for migrating animals as well as home to much more recognizable ones like lions, cheetahs, and giraffes. But look like this Hawaii. is the wild Africa that we're trying so Hawaii. desperately to conserve. Hey, by the way, weed wrapper. Oh, where the giraffe? Oh, yeah, over there. Oh, yeah, the giraffe. <laughs> Right there. I feel it. Little baby. Now the look of the savanna is created by the animals in here. Oh. Elephants use them as a uh, sorry. Oh, you mean Elephants are the bulldozers knocking over large trees for food. Giraffes are the pruning shears, trimming the underbrush, letting in more light. Antelopes mow down the grass, they make room for new shoes. Oh, what's that? While tops is gazelles from off the edges. In about it's a natural system. There's enough food for everyone. These large piles of sand you see are termite mounts. They're as hard as concrete. Termite. Elephants use them as a scratching post. Once they're worn down, those smaller animals, like Thompson's gazelles, use them as a lookout to spot for lions or cheetahs hiding in the tall grass. Did it come up? Now, if you look over to your right hand side, you see those big bulls with those big horns? Those are Ann Coley cattle. Those horns can grow about six feet long, be about 20 inches around, and they're not solid. Blood actually circulates through them. So those are the ones in the center. The gray and black ones next to them over by the hill, those are white-bearded wildebeests, part of the largest migration in Africa. They can migrate in the numbers of a million to a million and a half at a time. And you folks probably recognize these animals over here, don't you? Who are they? Yeah. Awesome. Now, actually, we're looking at two different kinds of giraffes. These right here, That's these are called animal. Maasai giraffes. They stand anywhere between 14 to 16 feet real? tall. Uh oh, he's staring right at us. Oh, look at the giraffe. No, it's real. Okay. Why so serious? Giraffe. 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 Giraff
dwelling antelope going indefinite periods of time without drinking any water. Kind of like a camel. Hey, don't meet. Can you see that? Look, this back side of the light. Oh, yeah. Simba. Oh, here are some warthog burrows. And here are some baby warthogs. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Now they go in those burrows backwards to leave their tusks exposed to ward off predators. And they have a top speed of about 35 miles an hour. Here's some ostrich eggs on our left. Oh, how does that goes up? About three pounds. There's the addicts again. The brown antelope in the, the back eggs. is a bonte box. Look at the eggs, Jenna. Jenna, Jenna look at the ostrich eggs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what? We're going to take a little detour. What? I want to show you some of the new stuff going on around the reserve. See, the reserve's looking to bring some more animals into the local ecosystem. And word on the reserve is that it's zebras. Now, they are going to have plenty of room to roam in a clearing this size. It's all part of the reintroduction effort going on throughout Africa to bring animals back into lands where they used to roam, but no longer do mainly because livestock farmers push them out of those lands to make room for their own cattle. Sharing your world with some of the animals. I knew I should have brought that map. Hey, you guys have a map back there, do you? Uh-oh. We know what, let's just, you know, we're explorers, right? Let's just figure out where we're going. Where we're we got going. GPS. Lots of beautiful plant life around here. That's one of my favorite trees. You got a GPS thing. Oh! Okay, well you know what? I've oh. got some good news and I've got some bad news. Good news is I know exactly where we are. Bad news is we're in the exact opposite of where we're supposed to be. In fact, we're really, oh. really, really behind schedule. So I hate to do this, folks, but it looks like I'm going to have to cut our trip a little short. Drop you off at the closest boarding post. But Hakuna Matata, it's just a short walk back to her mom baby village from there. Now, if you want to see some more animals, I definitely suggest the Bongani Forest Trail. There you can see some.